The Sahara, everything must go. 2011, the Sahara was sold and everything inside was for sale. From industrial freezers in the kitchen to camel lamps from the rooms. Mary Lane Slack bought four of those lamps. The main thing I actually went in for was the lamps. That's what I wanted. So I went through and picked what I wanted. Um, because some of them had broken tops or maybe they were chipped. She still has them today, proudly displayed around her house. They're just very unique. They have kind of that antique look to them. Mary Lane remembers going to that massive sale at the Sahara. Oh, well, there were poker tables, there was furniture, there were, you know, the uh, stools for the poker tables. There were a lot of pictures and it was a madhouse. Everybody was just grabbing and running everywhere and grabbing everything they could. So I had a lot of other things I wanted to get, but I couldn't get them so I got what I could. But she says she braved the long lines because the Sahara holds some special memories. I think it, it brings a lot of the nostalgia of Las Vegas. Her family moved here in the late 40s following their close friend Benny Binion from Texas. Mary Lane's dad opened a sports book downtown. And my mother opened a children's shop um, called the Small Fry Children's Shop right across the street from the Sahara. Mary Lane remembers watching the stars come into shop. Well, I know Jerry Lewis came over. I, I believe his wife, Frank Sinatra, and people like that would come over. Some of those Rat Pack guys would come over. So it was fun to see them come in and I would watch with big eyes. Then at the end of the day, Mary Lane and her family would go across the street to catch dinner and a show at the Sahara. <laughs> Back in those days, people would come and they would be, you know, they would be dressed up. When they went out in the evenings, the women would dress up in very elegant gowns and very glamorous, very glitzy. It's that glitz and glam that Mary Lane hopes will return along with the name. I would like to see the original sign even go back up there. Just don't bet on her giving back these camel lamps. People come in and they say those are so unique and I tell them where I got them and, and then we start talking about the history a little bit, so it's nice. Sianna Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Old Vegas stuff is so cool, isn't it? The hotel, it was named the Sahara in 1952. It was actually the sixth resort built on the Las Vegas Strip. When the hotel announced it would go back to the Sahara name last month, we talked to gaming experts and historians about what it could mean for business. It's definitely going to add some more life there, and I think a lot of people will be curious to see what's happening, and they're going to check it out. If they are capturing the old Las Vegas that a lot of people are nostalgic for, then I think that uh, they've hit a home run. There's a lot of other changes coming to the north end of the Strip. The Strat rebranded, Resorts World set to open next year. The Drew, previously known as Fountain Blue, that's also under renovation.